Got him. Ah, little guy. <laughs> he popped that swim bait though. I mean, throwing a big swim bait is something uh, that you, you know, you've got to do and you got to have the right equipment for it. So I developed a rod that I throw a lot of different stuff with. This is one of those really, really special rods in my line for me. It's called the GC8. It's a seven foot six heavy action, but it's got an extra fast tip. You know, it's got a shorter handle uh, than most seven and a half footers. So it fishes and feels like a, a much shorter, lighter rod. And uh, I use it for a lot of different things. You know, if you're gonna throw a football head jig or a Carolina rig, um, I throw a big spinner bait with this, slow roll big spinner bait. I throw swim baits with it. I like to throw uh, even swim jigs in the grass and things like that. I can put it rig one with braid. This is a really, really versatile rod when you um, uh, see that the, the tip that it has, I mean, it's just got a really fast tip to it and it's got a lot of backbone down here so I can fish it with heavy line or light line techniques. So it's just very comfortable. Again, it's one of those rods when you pick it up and cast it, gosh, it feels like a much shorter rod. It's real lightweight, it's really easy to handle and uh, man, it's just, it's one of my favorite rods in the whole line. I use it for, a, again, a lot, a lot of different techniques just because it's so easy to fish with and it's just got that right action. We call it a heavy action, extra fast, but really it's probably closer to a medium heavy. I wanna have a lot of backbone. You know, when you go uh, and you're dragging a three quarter ounce football jig or um, you know, a, uh, a tungsten um, football head or something like that, you've gotta make a really long cast and you've gotta get a lot of power to, to get those fish hooked way out there like that, especially on lighter line. That's why this longer rod, when you set that, you know, when you set that hook on them, you're gonna move a ton of line and it's got a lot of backbone to it, but it's still got that nice soft tip for that feel. You know, a lot of people might even like it for a, a close in pitching rod, but it's just one of my favorites in the line and uh, it's one that I use for a lot of different techniques.